All right, Fit Lifers, Drew Canoli. I am here with the one and only Sean Stevenson. And if you don't know who he is, he has the number one health podcast on the in the entire planet, galaxy, universe, whatever you want to call it. I listen to it all the time. Thanks for joining us, my man. It is my pleasure. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah. We're talking about something you and I are both passionate about. Yeah. And that is how we start our day is how we start our life in every moment. And you have a morning ritual that we're gonna talk about today. It's really the foundation, you know, especially today where there's so much distraction, there's so much opportunity at the same time. Um, We need to have some structure but be able to be flexible within that structure. It gives us a sense of certainty to start our day in a world that's so uncertain. Let's talk about the morning ritual. Perfect. You first wake up, what happens? Yes, the very first thing that I do for my morning ritual is that I do something called getting super hydrated. Mm -hmm. And so what that entails is drinking about 24 to 32 ounces of structured water. And the reason that I do this is that during sleep is actually one of the most one of the toughest times on your system as far as getting dehydrated because of all the water required to do all of these metabolic processes. And when you wake up in the morning, you're actually pretty dehydrated. And so you want to enable your body to flush out all those metabolic wastes. Plus you get this little benefit. It's something called water-induced thermogenesis. Multiple studies have found that drinking, simply drinking a certain amount of water can upregulate your metabolism upwards of about 30%. So that's what I do. I knock that out. And when I say structured water, I did a whole episode on water. We don't have time to do that, but it's called the Water and Hydration Masterclass. Episode 73 It's one of the most downloaded episodes. Hundreds of thousands of people have checked that out. So just check that one out to know what we're talking about as far as the water. But bottom line, first thing to start your day, drink water. And plus, you can get a big chunk of that hydration in that you need for the rest of the day in the morning. So what would the next thing be after getting super hydrated? I love that you have a a name for it too, super hydration. Yes. It's important, obviously, to feed our our physical body, but also Mm -hmm. our mind. And to start our day in more of an empowered state, I really love to read a little bit of, you know, kind of self-improvement, self-help, personal development type of of text and I like to do this while doing a little mobility work. So number three is meditation. If people ask me what's the number one thing that really helped to get me from where I was to where I am, I would say it's meditation. And that process really helped to create uh, a sense of space and a sense of peace for me that I carry throughout the day. So there's a lot of clinical benefit to meditation as well. And I just talked with Dr. Daniel Goleman, yeah. who wrote Emotional Intelligence, Social Great Intelligence. Book. And there's so much science that's found how much meditation can literally change our brain and grow parts of your brain that are responsible for concentration, that are responsible for memory, right? And also, of course, National Academy of Sleep Medicine found that doing a meditation practice, and this was just taking individuals who are non-meditators, getting them on a, a program for about eight weeks, was able to literally decrease sleep latency so they fall asleep faster, increase their sleep time, improve their sleep efficiency, wow. and lower symptoms of depression as well, all from a meditation practice. I think I've been viewed it and made it more practical because we don't have to run off and you know, yeah. go meditate for a couple of years in an ashram. So is it five, 10 minutes, 15? For about two years, every day I did a 32 minute meditation. Then I had a small child, <laughs> another kid. And so that, that formula changed. So even today we did about, I think it was maybe a 12 minute meditation. So it might be anywhere from you know 10 to, to 20 minutes. So number four. Number four is exercise. So this is jumpstarting the metabolism uh, in another sense, you know, not outside of the water. And the reason I do this is, well, there's a couple of reasons. The first one is Appalachian State University did a study. And they found that people who exercise in the morning have far better sleep quality. They spent more time in the deepest, most anabolic stages of sleep. They had more efficient sleep cycles and they tended to sleep longer simply by exercising in the morning. And plus we get that uh, post exercise oxygen consumption. You know, so you're literally burning more calories throughout the day. Your metabolism is working stronger just by getting a little exercise in, even just five minutes yeah. every day. Uh, but I really love to do, um, we'll just say post-workout. Say I did the exercise and a full workout. Yeah. So now I'm gonna do a post-workout shake. You know, this might be uh, hemp protein, bone broth protein, uh, a little peanut butter, maybe half a banana, little berries. And so why is that? Berries. Why fruit in your smoothie after the workout? Well, so this is getting into uh, the 
partitioning of nutrients yeah. and carb cycling and things like that, which yeah. we're gonna do. You're gonna talk about later. Time. That's right. So this yeah. is the perfect opportunity to come back. Like if you're just watching this five-step morning ritual with Sean, to come back later and check out what we're talking about, the, the carb cycling, because homeboy's an expert in that stuff. And I'm excited to share that with you as well. I appreciate you coming on. Give Sean a big thumbs up, you guys. Make sure you're following his podcast, listening to it. It literally, there's a reason it's been the number one podcast for a long time running. And you just continue to wow the world with heartfelt service, which is what we're all about. And uh, I love that. So remember, we're, we're, we're in, in this together. together. And we'll see you soon.